Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bookshelf. Alright, the very first thing you need to do is you're going to need to follow the template and cut out all of the pieces. You can get that on my website under templates. And then once you have the pieces cut out, then you are going to start putting it together. This is going to go together similar to the way that we did the cabinets. And let me move it over so you can actually see here. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is you need to put a little bit of glue on your shelf pieces, just like that, and then you want to make sure that they're even. Put them together like that. Make sure the edges line up. Get yourself a popsicle stick, and you're going to cut it on an angle like that and you're gonna use that to pull out any extra glue that may have squeezed out. I kinda of overdid it with the glue there a bit. Try not to do that. Okay, so, after you have that done, then you need to glue the next piece in. Now, what I'm using are paint sticks. So you're going to have to square them up on the edges before you start cutting them if you decide to do that, but it's about 1 8 inch thick. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing there. Now to make sure that it's square, get another board and kind of just stick it in the middle to make sure that you are keeping it uniform, otherwise it'll be wonky. We don't want wonky shelves. Okay, a little bit much glue there. Let me pull some of that back off of there. For some reason, I'm having a heck of a time getting that glue to come out a little bit. Maybe because I cleaned the tip, huh? All right. So again, remove your excess glue. And these paint sticks have measuring thing on them, so if yours end up having that, just put that facing downward rather than upward like that. Unless, of course, you want to see it, then you can do whatever you want. So continue this process until you've put all of the pieces on exactly like that. And you may want to cut yourself a couple extra shelf boards just so that you can use them in place, but make sure you don't push it all the way down, otherwise you'll be gluing it in that location. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have it like that, you're going to cut out this piece. You can use a flat piece, or you can decorate it the way that I did. I just kind of use the bandsaw, cut it here, and then I use the sander from the Dremel to sand there, and then I sanded it. Okay, so to determine the part where it's going to go down at the bottom, you want to have this piece even with your bottom shelf here, and then you want to have this side piece even with the bottom of this. So once you determine where that's going to be on yours, you want to go ahead and mark it so you know where to put it. Okay, transfer that to the other one. That way you have them even and they're not wonky. Now, you can leave this dry and then apply this, which is completely up to you. It depends on how um, easy you are with your fingers. Or you can glue it in here and then apply it and put it together. OK, 
Okay, so apply your glue to all of the edges, just like this. And if you wait it until it dries, then you can do it standing up, which will actually be a lot easier. You want to do both sides. Now I'm also doing this on wax paper so that I can remove it and the glue that goes down underneath, it won't matter. It'll stick but it'll peel right back off. Right. Now you do want to try and remove as much as you can because you don't want to have to sand that off the back if you don't have to. All right, so I have my mark. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, now. You want to sand this if it needs to be sanded anymore. I noticed I had a spot on there that needed to be sanded. And again, I'll put this template under um, the template section of my website, which is Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials. So go ahead and follow that. and then this is going to get glued here. Now, once you glue it, you're going to need to get a clamp and clamp this together so that it holds it nice and snug. And then when that dries, then we'll apply the top because it's going to have to be good and dry before you can apply the top. Okay, so... Apply some glue here. Push that back because that was leaning forward up a little bit. These, these are paint sticks, so they are not perfect. So if you want to do this to where it's going to be perfect, you're going to have to get real um, craft wood. I just use these because they're the right thickness that I need, and they're 98 cents at Home Depot. So it works out perfect. And I don't have to cut them either for most projects. Okay, so also I do want to mention before we add the top to this, you could just do another flat piece here, the width of that, and just make this a little bit higher up, just by like um, maybe like a sixteenth or so, and then just put it straight across there, and then you would have a complete square bookshelf. However, that's not how I designed this. So I'm going to make sure my feet are even down here. I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll show you how we're going to apply this up to the top. We'll be right back after it's dry. Okay, so for the next part, I've got mine taped together because I can't seem to find any more um, clamps. For the next part, you're going to either do very thin balsa wood or cardstock or poster board. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue this around the top. And it has to be balsa wood or poster board because the other stuff won't bend. And when you cut it, you have to cut it with the grain in the bending part. So like if you tried to bend this this way, you couldn't, but you can definitely bend it that way because that's the way the grain goes. You're going to let it snap naturally here and then bend it around there, and then you can tape it once you've done that. If that doesn't work for you, 
because you don't want to work with the balsa wood, then you can put a crease in here and then wrap that around that way and then cut it off. Okay, so go ahead and do that. All right, as you're wrapping the balsa wood, it is easier if you tape it as you're gluing it. Try to keep it in front and aligned. Now, if you don't have a bandsaw, to cut this, you could always cut this out of cardboard if you're going to paint the dresser white. I'm talking about this piece, by the way. Okay, so, um, once you get it all taped, you're going to want to go back and realign some glue on the underneath part. So right up in here, just take a bead of glue and just go back through it. That way it'll dry and it'll be hardened. And if yours snaps here, that's okay because you can just put glue on it and then it'll go back together and you won't see that seam. Okay, so I'm going to finish taping that around and getting it on there. Okay, so all I did over here is I went ahead and attached it and then glued it and then taped it for the second half. If yours is wide enough, you won't have to do that. Mine was not, so I had to. Okay, so now I'm going to just put this piece on here and then I'm going to tape it and then I'll show you how to apply it. Okay, so before the glue dries completely, you want to set it on here and make sure it fits so it dries in the right spot. Okay. And if your balsa wood overhangs a little bit, that's okay because you can sand it or cut it off. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry and then we'll be back. Alright, so you want to apply some glue here and here. And then right here, and right here. I gave it a really good coating of glue inside to make sure it doesn't come off. And balsa wood is very, very flimsy, um, so you want to be careful with it. And you can pretty much do anything once you have it. Alright, so you want to make sure you have it even. Right there, like that. Make sure your sides are as even as you can get it. And then you want to let it dry. Alright, tape it down. And then I'll be back. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to take this piece here and you want to apply glue just a little bit, not a lot, right around that edge. And then you are going to place it inside. Now it's not going to fit perfect with the top because this had to be done after the fact because you didn't know what the top was going to be until then but I mean you can see it hides it enough where when you're looking at it you're not really seeing that open gap 
Now another option is to leave that gap open there and then I put a light up there. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. It's still not dry, it'll take a while yet. But when it does dry, then we'll move on. And you'll see the finished product. Okay hey guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.